We was on the bottom, yeah. Now we headed to the top, new level. On my level, don't see anybody. I don't see them. This right here could never stop. This could never stop. Hey, this right here could never stop. Hold up, nah, nah. Hey, this right here could never stop. Hold up, nah, nah. Hey, this right here could never stop. Hold up, nah, nah. Hey, this right here could never stop. Hold up, nah, nah. One time, one time. Hey. I live on a job, right? Yeah, I'm always at work, right? Real people stay by me, right? Haters wanna do hurt, right? No, they tryna stop me, right? Drag my name through dirt, right? I don't feed into the hate, right? I just answer with a smirk, facts. I feel so special, facts. I know my worth, facts. My bloodline royal, facts. We the kings of the earth, right? You can't stop this, nah, nah. You can't stop this, no way, yo. Just look at the names where you see yourself. Levi? Levi? What about you? Yeah, where do you see yourself on this side? Remember you told me for, you, you're, you're identified as what, what nation? Jamaican, right? Which is in the West Indies, right? So where do you see yourself on this side? It's right there. Don't be scared to say it. Benjamin. Benjamin. You, you, in Jamaica, we've heard that name before. You'll hear the Rastas ever talk is Benjamin, you know, tribe of Judah. That's something in the Jamaica, in Jamaica. But they say out of lack of what? Lack of knowledge. Three. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 1 and verse 3. The ox knows his owner. So the Lord is going to describe some animals. He says, an ox. This is a dumb animal. He says, he knows his owner. Have you examined animals? When you take them out in the field, they know which house to come back to. That's a, long, that's a natural thing for an animal. Read. And the ass, his master's crib. But Israel does not know my people does not consider. So the Lord is saying, Israel does not know they are Israel. That's why you call yourself Jamaican, Haitian, Bahamian. These are names put on you through, through this. This is what, that, that name you have, even your last name is the name of a white man. Right. That was passed down through what? Generations. If your last name is John, William Smith, your slave master name was John William Smith. That's where that name came from. Bring it out. But what does the Lord say? Read. The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crib. But Israel does not know my people do not consider. Have you all considered that you might be Israelites in your lifetime? Do you ever sit down and say, man, I might be an Israelite? Have we ever done that as a people? Before you ask, before you say that. No, but before I know I know where you're going, but before you say that, answer my question. Have you ever guys sat down and said, listen, I think I might be an Israelite? Have we ever done that? So that means that the scripture is true. God said his people. You know what? No, I'm glad you said that. The teachings that we have got in church and Christianity and doctrines, they have never taught you that you might be the Israelites. I believe we're going to answer that, right? What I want to get into your minds why we have not considered. All right, read. The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crib. But Israel does not know my people does not consider. Read. Come on. Read. All, all, nif all sinful nation. So the Lord said that we are a sinful nation. Is our people a sinful nation? In what ways are we sinful? Name some of them. Because I want to make this real to you all. Steal, lying, lust, voodoo, voodoo committing whoredom, um, boyfriend or girlfriend is a sin. 
Yeah, boyfriend and girlfriend is a sin. Wearing blonde hair is a sin. Wearing pants is a sin. Not wearing fringes is a sin. Not keeping the Sabbath day on the seventh day Sabbath is a sin. Right. So the scripture said that we are what? Oh, sinful nation. The Lord said we are a sinful nation. And that's what we're going to get in our minds that in order for us to consider who we are, we have to come to the understanding that we are a sinful nation. But how did we get to this point? You mean Jeremiah 17 and 4. How did we get here? I'm gonna get there. Don't worry. I have that right here in my mind. How did we get how did we get from being Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Ephraim to being American blacks? West and you know you know you know what's crazy about this? You are renamed a, a direction and a, and the word Indian means savage. Okay, we're gonna get about listen to me. Don't worry, I want you to focus. Listen, your whole life you've been worrying about white people. Remember we just read. Did you ever consider you are an Israelite? Have you ever considered that? Do you know do you know why it's important to know that you Israel? And Christ came on earth for a purpose. Alright? And this is the purpose he came. Read. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 1 and verse 21. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus. For he shall save his people. Did he, did he say save everyone? His people. Did he say all nations? His people. Did he say he's going to save white people? His people. What about Chinese? His people. So now we cannot overlook that. You're going to ask now, who is God's people? Right. Bring it out. We read in Isaiah, his people don't know, they do not consider. Right. Bring it out. Matthew 15, 20. The book of Matthew, chapter 15 and verse 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Wow. So if you are lost, you need to now be found because God said he sent his son, that black Messiah, for Israelites. Right. But if you're calling yourself Bahamian, Jamaican, West Indian blacks, Negro, you don't know you're the Israelites. You don't know that Christ died on a cross and was sent to save you. Right. Jeremiah 50 and 6. But listen, this is what you guys need to pay attention to. Your nationality. That's right. Your nationality is, in, is crucial because your nationality experienced this. Right. Slavery is a result of your nationality, your nation breaking God's commandments. Right. So the only way to get right with God is to do what? We would think the only way to get right with God is to do what? And in other words, keep if you broke his commandments, go to, like say with your parents. If you break your parents' rules, the only way to get right with your parents is to what? Keep their rules. Same thing with God. If we broke God's commandments, his people has to keep his commandments to get back right with them. Do our people need to get right with God? Is killing each other getting right with God? Smoking weed, is it getting right with God? See how her, see her eyes lit up? Her eyes lit up with the weed. So, but no, I know we laugh, but these, sis, these are the things that plague our people. So what, what is the solution to get us out of these predicaments? Is it white people to help us get out of it? Or do we have, you said it, you got what? Change our ways. Right. That's, that's the purpose of camp. So we can show people there is a way out. Gang violence is not a way. Being a baby mama is not a way. Right. Being married is the way. Right. right. Wearing a dress, being modest yeah. is the way. That's right. what the Lord is telling us to do. He's telling our people they need to get right. Read. Right. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 50 and verse 6. My people have been lost sheep. 
Now, no, no, let's think about it. Again, he starts off the scripture by saying, my people. Right. Who is God's people? The 12 tribes of Israel. Yes, right. Right. What tribe are you from? Put the side. Let me see if it, let me see if it connected with you. What tribe are you from? All right, see? Right. All right, I'll pray. Benjamin, right. what tribe are you from, sis? Levi. Bro. Levi, brother, where are you from? Benjamin. Benjamin. That's, now, that's now you right. See, now yeah. you have considered. Damn, we are the Israelites. Now, now let's further prove that. Read. My people have been lost sheep. Their shepherds have caused them to go astray. The shepherds that they're talking about is these churches. The Creflo Dollars. The T.D. Jakes. Bring it out. What happened? Uh, are they teaching you that you're the Israelites? So they have, they, what, what have they done then? What are they doing? If you're not teaching God's people that are lost, if we are lost, we need directions from someone on where to go, who we are. So that's why the Lord said, they have led my people astray. Read. They have turned them away on the mountain. You know how they turned them away? By telling you, come as you are. You don't have to keep, that's, that's in Christianity church. They tell the people, come as you are. That's why sisters dress like this. That's why they become baby mamas. That's why they go to the club on Friday and Saturday and come to church on pagan Sunday. Because they, they're telling the people, come as you are. But Christ never said that. Christ said, except ye repent, ye shall surely die. That's what we got to tell our people. Except you do what? Change. Except you come out of the pants. Except you start wearing the fringes. Except you stop shaving off your beard. God said, you will surely die. That's the truth. Our people what? Hate truth. But that is what this Bible is about. It's about truth. Read. Uh, to, uh, they have turned them away on the mountains. They have gone from mountain to hill. They have forgotten their resting place. See that? We have forgotten God. We have forgotten God. That's the that's the that's the state of our people. Because if you ask some, if you leave here, and ask somebody their nationality, they're gonna tell you the same thing. African American, Negro, Jamaican, Haitian. They don't know that they're the Israelites. Right. Give me Ezekiel 3. I haven't forgotten your question, all right? Don't worry. I haven't forgotten your question. Read. Yeah. Ezekiel chapter 3 and verse 17. Read up. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word in my mouth and give them warning from me. So be a watchman over who, brothers? Israel. See, you see how important that name is? Right. You see how important that you must know who the Israelites are. But God said, I have made you a watchman over them. Not over the whole earth. Over the Israelites. Read. And give them what? Warning. The words that come out of this Bible, they are warnings. Read. When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way, to save his life. To do what? To save his life. Brothers, you listening? This word is not to be taken lightly. Right. It is actually to save your own life. You might think this, you see this here? You see this, these are called fringes. And when you examine the scriptures, a man died before these were implemented. Let's, let's read that. We're going to read. These are called fringes. It signifies what we're going to read right now. Start on verse 1. Numbers chapter 15 and verse 1. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel. And who said, Speak to again? Did Moses speak to everybody? Speak unto Israel. Read. And say unto them, When ye be come into the land of your habitations, which I give unto you, and will make an offering by fire unto the Lord, a burnt offering, or a sacrifice in performing a vow, or in a free will offering. So, yeah, Moses is talking about giving offerings. Read. 
Verse 37. And the Lord. I want to read where the part the brother was picking up sticks. Read. Verse 32. And while the children of Israel were in the wilderness, they found a man that gathered sticks upon the Sabbath day. You hear what it says? He was working on the Sabbath. Bring it out. Who, you know, who knows when the Sabbath day begins? Friday, Friday sunset. Come closer, man. You, you, like, you're scared, man. Right. You got the knowledge that you... Friday sunset. Friday sunset. Now, here's the thing. A lot of our people know that. But do they keep it? You understand? So our people are in the midst of sin. A lot of people know the Sabbath day. The word even Sabbath means seventh day. But they choose to keep it on what? Sunday. Read. And they that found him gathering sticks brought him unto Moses and Aaron and unto all the congregation. And they put him in ward because it was not declared what should be done to him. So the Lord, so Moses and the congregation put that brother into prison. Ward means prison because there was no judgment yet. Read. And the Lord said unto Moses, the man shall be surely put to death. Did the Lord say give him a chance? shall be surely put to death. You see how the Lord moves? And that's why you have grace today. That's right. Because the grace, right. God is giving you a chance to receive the warning that we are talking about. Right. Bring it out. He said, give them warning. Warn them. Warn them. And we are going to hear the warnings, but they do what? They don't listen. They don't take heed. Read. All the congregation shall stone him with stones. You ever seen a man being stoned? You ever witnessed that? Just Google it, a man being stoned. And it's not, it's not like they stoned him with like some little pebbles. And it's not like the first stone kills them. That's a, that's a painful death. But the Lord said what? Kill that man. Read. All the congregation shall stone him with stones without the camp. And all the congregation congregation brought him without the camp and stoned him with stones. And the congregation stoned him. Now you might say, man, damn, the Lord is, is fierce, he's mean. But the Lord is establishing order yes, amongst right. us. Right. The Lord is establishing discipline amongst us. Because if you have an unruly child, an unruly son, and you don't train them, you know who you know who's going to train them? The world. The world. Yeah. Is the world going to be nice? Uh -huh. Nah, the world is going to pull that Glock, one in the chest. Gang bangers, drugs. So as parents, our, we are trying to do what? Save our children's life. We are the children of God. God is trying to do what? Save our life. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, Nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana. Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.